Hey there, welcome back to SimTech channel. In the previous tutorial on STM32 simulation, I showed you how you could display the temperature from the TMP temperature sensor onto the virtual terminal. As you can see, we've got the temperature being displayed. Please watch the previous tutorial so you can see how we got to this point. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add an LCD display onto this very same project in a very few simple steps. To do that, make sure you have the component icon selected and click on P. Once you are here, just go ahead and search on LM0. Then you should see the list of available LCD display. Let's go ahead and select the 20 by 4 LCD display and click on OK. Great. Now, once you've got your LCD onto your interface, please connect it in 4-bit mode as I've done here. Right, so you've got T4 to 7 connected to your PC 0, 1, 2, 3 ports and your RS pin to PC 4, enable pin to PC 5, and the power pins are optional for the simulation. But if you've got the physical LCD, you need to have your power pin, obviously, and the potentiometer must be connected to the VEE pin to control the backlight. If we run this program right now, we're going to get the temperature data onto the virtual terminal, but no data onto the LCD display. That is the purpose of this tutorial to get this exact data display onto the LCD. Now let's go ahead and see how we're going to achieve that using STM32 Cube IDE. Great. Now, this is our current project, right? That we're working with Proteus Lab Center simulation. Now, to add the LCD uh, support onto our project, we need to head back onto the IOC interface here. Now, we know that we've connected the LCD on PC 0, 1, 2, 3, as well as PC 4 and 5. Great. So, what that basically means is we need to configure this pinout as basically output. GPIO output. So just go ahead and configure your PC0, PC1, PC2, PC4, and PC5 as GPIO output. Great. Now, once you've got all your GPIO port C uh, selected pin configured as output, you can then go ahead and generate your code. Yes. Great. Once your code generation is completed, go ahead and expand the include and the source folders. Now, this is where you need to add your LCD library. Now, on the description box of this tutorial, you're going to find the link that will take you into a GitHub repository where I've got the LCD library. So all you have to do now is first create two blank files. So on the include folder here, go ahead and click on new and header file. Basically, you need to create a new header file. You can give it any name you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and say lcd.h and I'm going to say finish. So that's basically going to create a blank header file here, as you can see. I will do exactly the same thing with the source file and that will be the source file basically the dot c file and this will be lcd dot c and i will say finish great now i also have an empty c source file great now if you click on the link provided in the description box you're going to land in this github repo here all you have to do is to click on one of the file here now let's start with the lcd 2004.c okay once you are here Please go ahead and click on copy raw file. Okay. Once that's done, you need to return onto your STM32 project and paste what you just copied there. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and paste it right here. Okay. Now up here, you're going to have this small problem waiting to happen because this header file does not match what we just basically created here. So now you need to go ahead and make them match. Basically, by changing one of them, I'm going to go ahead and change lcd.h to make a match and the problem will gladly go away. Now, the next thing is to copy the data for the lcd.h. Okay, now still blank. We need now to go back onto our GitHub repo here. Okay, and we need to now this time click on the 
lcd2004.h once again copy row file okay and return to your project and you need to paste everything onto your lcd.h file now depending on the type of lcd you are using if you are using the 16 you need to enable this line of code define lcd 16 xn if you are using the 20 this is a line that must be enabled right now we're not going to go through the rest of the code here as it will take us more time to basically explain all this line of code now if you have any question you want to know more about this library please you are more than welcome to drop a comment in the comment section i will gladly assist you with whatever concern you have now if we go ahead and basically build this project right now so that we can see where we are standing in terms of uh, errors and warnings that we need to fix this is going to give us some indication of whether we are making some good progress great now basically there are no errors no warning everything is fine but if we load this hex file right now into our simulation project we're not going to get a temperature data display onto the lcd the reason being we need to configure our main.c file here so that we can actually display the data onto the lcd great now to do that i'm going to paste a line of code onto user code begin now before i do that let's go back into the lcd.c now here on line 25 we got lcd underscore handle tab dev lcd create now we need to basically recreate this function okay and we're going to basically define this array variable for port and for the pins okay then we're going to pass our ports data and pins data and the lcd mode in which we are basically using uh, our lcd now by doing that onto the main function we basically creating and passing all the variable for our lcd now let's go ahead and paste our line of code here okay now as you recall that on our LCD uh, connection, we basically connected all our data pins to port C. So we basically need to change this to GPIO C, GPIO C, GPIO C, and GPIO C. And the pins are pin 0, 1, 2, 3. So we don't have to change anything here. Now, we then create the LCD type dev handle, the same one that is actually defined here okay so we recreate it there to basically pass the variable onto the function lcd create the ports data are this one here the pins data are these pins here now we need to pass the data for the rs and enable pin now it's work well for us we also using pin 4 and pin 5 but we need to change the port in which those pins are located so that port c and port c as well so that basically all we need to basically set the configuration ready now we cannot just run uh, the program yet because we basically need to uh, pass in the data now onto the location we want them to be displayed onto the lcd great so to achieve that we only need these few lines of code that basically to set our cursor right temperature and we need to pass the variable that is holding the temperature data for us so that is variable temp here please make sure you watch the previous tutorial so that you can see how we got to the point of displaying temperature data on the virtual terminal great now before we build this uh, one more time we need to pass the variable basically we need to pass a header file lcd.h onto our main function otherwise uh, we're not going to be able to locate this uh, array variable for our ports and pins that basically will give us a lot of errors here so i'm going to go ahead and pass include and lcd.h great something like this now we can go ahead and build this project one more time and hopefully we're not going to have any problem or errors great that basically it there are no warning no errors 
and we've got our hex file that's have been created for us now we can now go ahead and head back to our proteus simulation and pull in the hex file and see if we're going to display the welcome to simtech channel subscribe and also the temperature data onto the lcd display great so let's go ahead and click on edit properties then we need to load in our new hex file here okay and open okay now let's go ahead and run this program and see how we're going to display our lcd data there we go welcome to simtech one channel please a subscribe and like so we're going to get a count up here that's supposed to be much faster but there is a delay due to the cpu being loaded here up to five and we've got temperature data display and we also have temperature data being displayed here now let's increase the temperature data to 27 28 we should have that also display on the lcd 27 28 there is currently a delay due to cpu being overloaded but as you can see here we haven't sorted out the float variable for our lcd display if you want to sort out the float variable please let me know on the comment section i'm going to provide you some guidance on that so that is it guys for this tutorial if you find it useful please make sure you subscribe to SimTech channel and give this tutorial a thumbs up. Until next time, cheers.